Sixer Nation, what up? Today, we're just going to hop right into it, man. Like the show if you enjoy the content. Subscribe to the channel, Philly Take with RB. We keep you updated every single day. Now, before we get into the rant, let's start it off with something a little bit lighter, right? A little bit of a lighter note. Tyrese Maxey did this yesterday. Clip came out. Whoop. Look at that. The little spin, the little fade. I don't think people are ready for what Tyrese Maxey is about to do to the league this season. Shout out to Tyrese. We reacted to his episode with Paul George yesterday. Be sure to check out that video. But we got to get to something else, man. National TV, Colin Cowherd went out and publicly ripped Joel Embiid apart for his play in the Olympics thus far for his, I guess, very just putrid performance against Serbia and for a bunch of other things as well. So I'm not going to play the clips. I have the quotes up, and we're going to react to these. But first off, Colin, what you been smoking, bro? Looks like he's been smoking something heavy. I don't know what's up with this guy. Look, I I know Fox is having a lot of change in their system. People are leaving the station. Is this what we have to revert to? I know Joel Embiid has become public enemy number one. I get it, right? There's people in France booing him, even though he doesn't care. He's just happy. He's embracing life. He's embracing his career. He gets to make millions of dollars going out there on the court every single night and dominating, right? And, and, you know, once Joel Embiid wins, he's going to be liked by the public. It's how it happens with every superstar. But right now, this whole offseason, everybody that gets an opportunity to rip Joel Embiid is doing it. Maybe it's for the clicks, like Embiid said in that Drew Hanlon pod. Right, You use Joel Embiid's name, you're going to get views. But anyway, let's talk about what Colin Coward had to say because he made some absolutely ludicrous takes off of one Olympic game. We'll start off with number one. Two years ago, the NBA media voted Joel Embiid over Jokic for MVP. It was really an anti-Jokic vote because Jokic is a more valuable player. He's a better player, and it's not particularly close if you watched yesterday. He's hands down the most valuable player. The NBA media often chooses cool stories over the truth. Now, I'm not going to make this a video trying to just compare Joel Embiid and Nikola Jokic, right? We've done that for the last three years. Could Jokic have won that MVP? Yes, he had an MVP-like season that year. But at the same time, could Joel Embiid have won the year before? Could Joel Embiid have won this year if he had met the game's requirements? Sure. All of these guys have played extremely well. And yes, I was a person to go at Jokic, mostly because of the types of stats the fans were using. I still think they're BS, right? Vorp and and Raptor and LeBron. Nobody gives a crap about those weird advanced analytics, right? We watched the game. How many points, how many buckets is this guy getting? Rebounds, assists. All that stuff, right? We don't care about Raptor and Vorp. Nikola Jokic in the 2023 playoffs shut everybody up. He was absolutely electric, and he was incredible, and credit to him. But Joel Embiid has also been dominant, and when it comes to Embiid versus Jokic saying that Jokic should have won that MVP, I could easily say the first MVP should have gone to Joel Embiid. So I don't agree with Colin 100% here. And I'm not going to say that everything he put out here was just absolutely invalid, But you can see the agenda. You can see, again, Philly is naturally hated in all sports. The media does not not like Philadelphia. Let's go on to the next one. Steve Kerr pulled him off the floor two minutes into the game against Serbia. He's the most overhyped and over-discussed player in the NBA. Jokic and Embiid on the floor at the same time, it's not close. They're not the same player. They're not remotely close to the same level of player. Yeah, you're right, Colin, because they're two different types of players. Jokic is essentially an all-around type of player, a point guard in a seven-foot-one body. Joel Embiid, who actually has developed the handles, right, the dribbling ability, uh, the facilitation this past year, Nick Nurse's system and offense, Joel Embiid can do everything, right? And and Nikola Jokic can do everything in a different way. Like, they just fulfill different roles based on their teams, based on what their teams run. So yes, they are different players. But to say Embiid is overhyped and over-discussed when this guy last year at one point was averaging 35 freaking points per game. 35 points per game. Did you know, Colin, did you get this from your research, guys, that Joel Embiid right now has the best points per minute in NBA history? Did you know he's top five in scoring average? 
Did you know that Joel Embiid has put up numbers the last couple years when healthy that nobody has ever done, right? He's broken records. He's done things that Wilt hasn't done. So we're going to say he's overhyped. That's absolutely BS. Let's go on. Philadelphia keeps running play. Or I'm sorry, beyond padding his stats. So Embiid's a stat patter now. Not Jokic, the guy who tries to go for double doubles and triple doubles at the end of games. But Joel Embiid, the guy who was averaging 35 and three quarters last year and didn't even have to play the fourth, is a stat patter. Philly keeps running players and coaches through him. And in the weaker Eastern Conference, he has yet to win a second round playoff series. Fair. He hasn't gotten to the conference finals. But to say Philly keeps running players and coaches through him, he's the problem, right? He's the black hole. I'm not asking for much. Maybe one Eastern Conference Finals. Don't forget when his career started, he was hurt for two years and never played 70 games. You bang on AD, but AD the last couple years is there every night. AD has gotten injured how many times? How many times has AD gotten injured the last couple years? I can't even think of it off the top of my head. And in addition to that, you know why AD won? You know why he got a championship in the bubble, which shouldn't even count? Because he joined LeBron. Put LeBron James with Joel Embiid. They'd have three championships by now. Are you kidding me, Colin? BS. Ludicrous. Come on, man. You got to be better than this. You watch this Olympics, and it's the best players in the world, and he's an atrocious fit. He doesn't fit at all. The FIBA rules don't call as many fouls, and he lives at the free throw line. Yeah, you're right, Colin. The FIBA rules are different. A lot of running and gunning, a lot of chucking threes, not a lot of post defense, right? A different game. And plus, they have a team of superstars. So we're even though the USA team blew out Serbia at the end, we're going to pinpoint Joel Embiid because he had a bad game. Oh, by the way, he was playing through an illness, and it's all Joel Embiid's fault, right? FIBA rules are great for bigs. Jokic is dominant. AD is great. Bam is, a, is great, and Embiid can't play here. And before that, he said he's not only ineffective, but he hurts the team. Right? We're, I agree that the Olympic style, as we've seen, is not really catered to Joel Embiid's game. But to say, like, he is the only issue here is just, it's insane. And plus, they're still winning. They're still winning. First off, I didn't even want Embiid to play because he's putting more stress on his body and, and accumulating more minutes. And we know, you know, he's sustained these freak injuries and he's had to play a lot and, and put up 50 on every single night in November before. But, you know, I commend him because he wants to represent his country and he wants to do it. So I can't be mad at that. But here's the worst part right here. They've given him James Harden. They've given him Jimmy Butler. They've given him Ben Simmons. Oh, my gosh. Colin, you're hitting a new low right here, man. Ben Simmons made an all-star game and B can't win a second round series in the East. Jokic has never had a single teammate make an all-star team and he's already got a trophy. Matter of fact, if I recall correctly, back in 2019, Colin Cowherd wanted the Sixers to trade Joel Embiid and a role with Ben Simmons. That's what he thought the solution was. There was also a thing before where Colin Cowherd lost the bet and he didn't honor it. He didn't wear a Joel Embiid jersey. He is a notorious Joel Embiid hater and he's just spewing BS to the public. Really? But like I'm convinced at this point that Colin Cowherd doesn't watch hoops. I don't think he watches it. I think he goes in and goes to his analytics and research department and says, feed me the stats that I can just blabber about today. Ben Simmons, Jimmy Butler, do you watch the Sixers? Do you know that Joel Embiid has had to endure more malpractice, more mismanagement, more terrible roster construction than any other superstar in NBA history? That's right, I said it. Jimmy Butler played with this team for half a season, and they should have kept him. They didn't. James Harden disappeared in the playoffs and was also injured. And again, I'm not taking all the blame away. There is blame with Joel. He has to be better. Yes, he sustained these freak injuries. But Ben Simmons? Ben Simmons made an all-star game. A fluke of an all-star game that he shouldn't have even made. Never improved. And was the number one overall pick that is now 29 years old. And I predicted this two years ago. I said he's going to be out of the NBA by 30. I don't think he's going to be in the NBA past next season. Jokic has the perfect complimentary roster. The Nuggets ownership and GM have done a beautiful job surrounding him with every piece that he needs to succeed, to help his game thrive. So to come out here and say this, especially off one Olympic matchup, 
is just insane. It's not even like Jokic played that well. Can you make trades during the Olympics? Can we get Wemby? I'll give you Embiid in future draft picks. We can now officially stop comparing Embiid and Jokic. Jokic is healthy, can be complimentary, and the star. Makes every teammate better. Let's not put Embiid in that class anymore. He can't stay healthy. He doesn't win. He clogs up the offense, and it was all on display yesterday. So according to Colin Cowherd, because of one Olympic game, Joel Embiid is overhyped, over-discussed, overrated, and is terrible. This is what we have become accustomed to now when it comes to national coverage on TV. That is a sad thing, and it is why other platforms continue to grow. Look, man, I don't disagree with everything you said, but Colin, you got to wake up, my guy. You got to wake up. Unless you're just doing this for the clicks, who knows? But rate that take in, in down below in the comments, man. One being the worst take you've ever heard, 10 being the best take you've ever heard. Is Joel Embiid overrated to the level that Colin Coward is talking about? I cannot wait until Joel Embiid comes out this season, dominates yet again, and finally has a wing and a guard who both might make the all-star team to come out and take pressure off his shoulders. Let's see what an actual roster around Joel Embiid looks like. And if he can, hopefully, stay healthy, let's see what this team can do in the playoffs. By the way, Colin, did you know Joel Embiid had the most points in the playoffs, average-wise? Probably not. Didn't take time to look that up. Give me your thoughts down below. Catch you on the next one. Peace.